Welcome back to AM Buffalo this morning. We are so grateful that you're here with us so we can share with you some amazing resources available in our community. And one of them is through the SPCA serving Erie County, Gina Latuka, Alan Monaco, and of course, Jake, the Golden Retriever Therapy Dog. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. You're gonna be telling about us about something really truly amazing that's available for folks who might be suffering through this recent tragedy in our community. So Gina, first, Tell me about this. What is Pause for Love? Pause for Love is a program where therapy pets will visit all kinds of outlets. We've got animals at funeral parlors and wakes. We've got them at the airport, hospitals, nursing homes, libraries, the list goes on. Mm. And it's so much more than animals just visiting for fun. Yes. This is actually goal-oriented therapeutic intervention. There are specific goals met depending on the location, depending on the need, and depending on the animal. And tell me about some of those experiences because recently people have been reaching out to you because of what happened on Jefferson Avenue. So tell us about really the outreach for this kind of therapy. Well, this particular kind of therapy in response to Saturday's tragedy is really just to break down some of those barriers when it comes to communication. We understand their children mm -hmm. and adults who are having trouble processing what happened on Saturday. These animals act as a communication bridge and it might not be verbal communication, but it might be nonverbal communication, right. body language. It might be a release of emotions. Maybe people are having trouble expressing those emotions. There is something that these animals provide, something we can't even begin to fully understand mm -hmm. but it allows people to express themselves fully even just that moment of joy that moment of healing we're not naive enough to think that the impact of a few minutes will last a lifetime but we're there to make these repeated visits to make the healing a little more effective a little more efficient so there are many animals like Jake available to provide this kind of therapy within our community can you talk to us about just the amount of support that you have available. Yeah, Alan works with a lot of the other animals. He works with Jake, but alongside him are other dogs. We've got some cats in the program. We have a bird, Mr. Bird the cockatoo in the program. Yeah. And again, depending on what the need is at the facilities, depending on who the audience is, that's how we determine which team might be best. Jake and Alan, for instance, also visit the Buffalo Niagara International Airport and several other locations. Goodness me. Tell the folks out there about what happened yesterday, just as an example of how Jake and you and other therapy animals and their handlers are really helping in the community. Something amazing yes. happened with you and Jake. And when I say amazing, of course, it was kind of a scary situation for some young, ki young kids yes, at the airport. Tell us what happened. Yesterday we were at the airport and uh, uh, President Biden flew in and of course mm -hmm. everybody was all looking out the windows and everything. Like that. But a lady had a medical problem mm -hmm. and, and we didn't know what happened to her, but the medical staff got around her and we didn't know if she was having a heart attack or a seizure or what. But she had two small children with her. One was a young boy who was seven and a daughter that was four. And that's all that was f traveling with her. Mm -hmm. So they were trying to get information from her and, and they couldn't because she was having this problem. So the, the, police, the fire chief had the children taken to United Airlines uh, conference room and he asked us if we would take the dogs down there to keep the children company and help them. Well, it worked out great because we gave the, the children pictures of the dogs. Mm -hmm. They start petting them, playing with them, holding their leashes. We give them pictures and they, they just calmed right down. And we stayed there for about an hour with the children until they rectified what they were gonna do with the children. And they finally took them to the hospital where the mother was gone. And um, uh, it's amazing that it you were just, able to be there yeah. for the scariest situation for a little it is one, very scary. for a parent to be in that situation. The, Jake was a hero. And they wanted to use that like a, a, like a training thing now because that never happened before. So they thought it was great that they handled it that way and for mm -hmm. future occurrences that, that might work out. Oh my gosh, thank you so much oh, for that. Welcome. And thank you for volunteering. These are volunteers, keep that in mind. Now, Gina, if people are watching right now and they say, you know what, my family member could use this or a friend of mine really needs this kind of support, where do they go for this kind of, where do they sign up? Well, they could email Pause for Love, and that's P-A-W-S, mm -hmm. Pause for Love at yourspca.org, or they could check out our website, yourspca.org. All the information is there as well. Gina, we will make sure to share that on all of our social media accounts as well as our website, because we want to make sure that you have access to all of these resources and maybe you'll be able to meet Jake. He is a, not just a gorgeous dog, what a good dog. We are so grateful to have you on the show today. My pleasure. We, I wanted to mention we have, we have pit bulls, we have Great Danes. It's not just Golden Retrievers, yes. it's a big mixture. 
And as long as the dogs are trained and have a decent temperament, we need dogs like that. So they need more volunteers as well. Thank you again for being on the show Very this well. morning. We will have even more resources and support for you in our show today, so stay tuned. You're watching AM Buffalo.